guys, it's me, Christine. What's up? I imagine someone else other than me came to do this tutorial. That would be so weird. I was way too excited about my last shattered glass nails that I wanted to do them again, except this time with a more angelic look because I am an angel. The last look was black and hollow, and this look is white and multichrome because I couldn't leave it just white. That would be so fun. Boring. It's basically the same design on all nails except on the accent nail I reverse the colors because sometimes I just like to see the way things look with the opposite colors and to show you this Multi porn multi chrome porn. I mean not multi porn just multi chrome porn Let me be clear. This has got to be one of the most powerful color shifting multi chromes I own Ugh, It's my favorite. It's called blessing because it is truly a blessing in life You can find it at the link below in the video description box and oh Oh my god, look at that shift. It's purple and then it's blue and then it's teal and then it's green. What? Back to boring. Except this is really satisfying to watch this basically one coat or white slap on my nail. Oh yeah, so creamy, so good. Mm, yeah. I add a quick dry top coat on all of my nails because I'm gonna add nail vinyls on top of that. Wow, how predictable, Christine. Clearly no one would be able to do my tutorials for me because they would just have no idea what I would do next. Nail vinyls from Twinkle T. Use my code SIMPLY for 10% off, save money. Do you like my song? You can download it on iTunes along with Where My Bae's At by Miranda Sings. We are besties. I'm just using straight stripe whatever nail vinyls to make a V-shape because I'm gonna fill in that V-shape with some white cream. Wow, that was incredibly inappropriate if you take that in the wrong way but I guess I'm the one with the dirty mind here. Now peel off those bowling alley gutter lane things to reveal the white V. Do it again on your other nail, but opposite because sometimes I can't make up my mind which way I want to do my nails. This way, as I realize later, isn't that effective because the multi-chrome needs to be really thick for it to be opaque, so then I just basically had a swimming pool of multi-chrome polish. I'd swim in that shit any day though, hell yeah. Unicorn skin. Yes, I have reunited with you. I used just the pink to green iridescent unicorn skin cellophane that you would have seen in my other shattered glass video. In my other video, I explain what the correct type of unicorn skin to buy is. It's this one. It says celebrate because today is the day of the unicorn, so we must rejoice. This time I cut up the skins into more narrow, longer triangles, but I was too lazy to film that again. These clips are from last time. You could add a quick dry top coat here, but looking back, I'd actually recommend just applying a clear polish before sticking on the unicorn skins because as you'll see, since I added a quick dry top coat, it dries quick. Wow, go figure. Which made it more challenging to stick on the unicorn skins in time before it dried up. So you gotta act really quickly here. Do not let your nails dry. It is not the time to be playing Polish Blast. I've never played it, but I was once addicted to Candy Crush and I just can't go back to that dark time in my life. See how the narrow long triangle unicorn skins actually look pretty edgy and sexy with all that crisscross back and forth action? Yeah, totally did that on purpose. And now I'm gonna do my other nail, which serves no purpose in showing you it again because I'm literally doing the same thing. I'm on my way to becoming a full-fledged unicorn. The only thing missing is hollow. But I really just wanted to not use hollow this time because I wanted to test and see if multi-chrome also brought out a similar form of sorcery with the unicorn skin combination. Before we decide, let's add a really thick, glossy top coat. Wow, it is so satisfying to watch all that wetness go on. The longer unicorn skin fragments are not working out in my favor. Did anyone notice what was on my other hand? Do you see this magic? This is not unicorn skin, but it's fun lacquer flakies that I put on a multi-chrome. I wrote the polish combo I used to create this effect down in the video description box. And now let's examine the multi-chrome unicorn. Ooh, girl, yeah. Do you see that shift from a beautiful warm purple to the turquoise green? I'm adding a second thick glossy top coat. I also put the link for this glossy top coat down below because it's super high gloss and it's so thick. In fact, the one I'm using now is supposed to have a gel effect and I think it really has a gel effect without being actual gel. I can see my face in the bottle and I love it and I love it. 
I don't know, what should my conclusion about these nails be, guys? Help me out. I mean, it looks pretty cool when it shifts to the purple blue under the unicorn skin, but it's not really doing anything extra special with the skin effect, you know? It's probably because I'm a hollow sexual that nothing else will ever measure up to the amazing satisfaction that hollow can give me. But that's okay, we give all shiny objects a chance. Oh, when you say unicorn love me, no, I love hollow more. Oh, when you say unicorn need me, no, I need hollow more. I explored. You, you, I explored. You, you, you. And okay, we're just gonna end on that. See y'all next time. Bye!